Hey guys, so it is the first video of the year and it and and it's two weeks into the year So we're already behind schedule. Sorry guys. I was in Hawaii and hence the long hair I don't know what that has to do with Hawaii. I don't know why back to the topic So it's about two weeks into the new year And it's right about that time where half the people who made New Year's resolutions have already given up the other half are about to give up And of course there's the half that you know never made resolutions plus the half of people that actually keep their resolutions That's four halves not starting off strong Ryan, but anyway I don't know about you guys, but I always make New Year's resolutions and to be completely honest I don't think I've ever kept one throughout the entire year I mean last year my resolution was to stop drinking energy drinks and if you guys watch the behind the scenes You know that I did didn't even come close and after really thinking about it and questioning why I always fail my New Year's resolutions I think I figured it out. I always start the year off strong But then over time I slowly start BSing myself and convincing myself that I'm not cheating on my goals But I am it sounds confusing. Let me just show you. Here's how the beginning of last year kind of looked like for me This ain't so bad. I don't even feel like an energy drink. And I do have to work today, so Maybe just one for emergencies. I mean, last year I was drinking five a day, so two a day is still improvement. Last time I checked, three is still less than five. So is four. Five would be a tie with last year, so I probably shouldn't. But then again, a tie does hang from a neck, and a neck is connected to the head, so this area could be called the ned, or the heck, as in, eh, what the heck. But this year, nope, this year's gonna be different. I'm not gonna BS myself this year. And to be sure of that, I'm gonna hold myself accountable with me. Here's your list of resolutions. Eat healthier, don't offend people, no more cursing, fart jokes, dark jokes, bad puns, dabs, and Red Bull. Actually, that should say energy drinks, not Red Bull. Actually, that's probably another thing you should stop doing. You're always promoting random brands for free. All right, add it to the list then. Okay. See, once you have your resolutions, all you have to do is not BS yourself, hold yourself accountable, and just stick with it. Especially because right now, two weeks into the new year, that's when everybody gives up on their goals. Like, that's statistically proven when people don't fact check me because I made that up. But you get the point? Here's some examples of some types of people that you don't want to be two weeks into the new year. Starting with the New Year's hype person. We've all seen it before, and I'm not going to lie, I've been guilty of it too. The New Year's hype person is exactly what it sounds like. It's somebody who's overly hyped for the new year. They're so sick of what happened in the previous year that they're ready to move on. They spend so much time telling other people people and themselves how great this new year is gonna be and how it's nothing compared to the last year that they actually don't make any changes at all. You've seen them before, they all say the same old common basic bit- Ah! Uh, what? Cursing, remember? Right. They say all the same old common basic types of things such as I am so ready for 2017 But is 2017 ready for me? Don't live in the past, live in the now Hashtag 2017, hashtag ready Man, I'm so ready for 2017, I'm ready to put in work! What? No, that shouldn't count. I was just acting as someone else. You still cursed. I didn't know it counted in my videos too. Video or not. Okay, well, I didn't know that. See, so can I just start over? <sighs> Fine, but no more chances after that. The technicality cheater. Basically, this is the guy who cheats on the resolution by a technicality. Like I mentioned earlier, people who BS themselves. Something I am guilty of. Actually, I'm probably guilty of everything you guys see here because I, if not, I wouldn't have thought of it. I wrote this thinking about myself in the past. Yeah, I'm annoying. But anyway, this is the guy who BSs himself into thinking that he's not cheating on his goals when he really is. Basically, they're cheating, so it defeats the whole purpose. It looks something like this. I'm just gonna have one drink a day. I'm just gonna have one a day. I'm just gonna have one slice. What? What? That was just for the skit. I didn't even eat it. Ryan, I'm you, okay? I see all the behind the scenes too. You can't hide things from me. The unrealistic goals person. I know this is gonna sound like the opposite of every inspirational speaker, but sometimes I don't think it's good to set your goals too high, at least right away. Especially for one year, if you set your goal too high and you don't see any progress, like, it's, it's unmotivating. This is actually another big part of not BSing yourself. You have to be realistic. Yep, this is gonna be the year. This is the year I become a billionaire. Nice, man. I mean, you could do it if you really believe. And I'm gonna practice basketball every single day and finally make an NBA team. Yeah, man, go for Plus, it. Plus, I'm gonna travel the entire world and go to every single country. Do it, man, we're rooting for and you. And you know what, this is finally gonna be the year that I get a girlfriend. <laughs> Sure, buddy. The way too easy goals person. Pretty much the opposite of the unrealistic goals person. This guy who sets their goals way too easy to the point where it's like, why do you even have that goal? I need to stop using Vine. The person in denial. Probably all know at least one of these people. This is the person that makes resolutions about everything other than the actual obvious problem that they have. No more. I feel better already. Person from China. It's not even New Year's yet. 
，这是怎么回事？我不知道，但是不分析。哎呀。The reset button person. Button. Button. I don't know why people think I say that weird. Button. Is that how you're supposed to say it? Button. Button. There's two T's. You gotta say one of them. Button. This is the guy who thinks that just because it's a new year, it's a reset button on everything that happened in the past year. Hey man. Um, I know we haven't talked in a while, but uh, I just figured since it's a new year, maybe we could just start over. You know. I mean, I'm willing to put everything that happened between us behind me if you are. So what do you say? You stole my wallet, made out with Cat while we were still dating, and you ran over my grandmother with your car. Well, yes, and as bad as those things were, you know, I am still willing to put it all behind me. Wait, is that my wallet? Is that you, Cat? Wait. <gasps> See? It's all behind me now. You're failing two of them now? The pun wasn't even that bad. And how is this a dark joke? You killed a grandmother and you threw her ashes on the ground. Yes, yes, okay, I see your point, but the pun wasn't that bad. It really was, though. And that's your opinion. My opinion was that it's fine. We're the same person. Fine, then let's ask somebody else then. Was the pun that bad? It's not. See? Hey, come on, you can't take the pun goal away from me. I'm actually working really hard on that one. Fine, but you still lose the dark jokes resolution. Deal. The secretive person. Now these are for people who have resolutions that they don't want to tell anyone about because it's probably embarrassing. And these are the hardest resolutions to keep because they're secretive. It's literally all on you. Hey Ryan, can I borrow your... Were you just... It's not what it looks like. Dabbing? No, 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 no. I, 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 was, I, was, I was just... Oh. I have a problem. Hey, just curious, but why the lotion if you're just dabbing? Well, why not? I mean, I do use it throughout my entire day. After all, it is Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair, which can heal your dry, damaged skin in less than five days. You seem to know a lot about moisturizing lotion. Eh, I guess you could say I... dabble. You know what? I give up. Wait, what? It's only been one day and I've already like ruined all my resolutions already. Well, not all of them. I mean, you still have no cursing, no Red Bull, no fart jokes. Surprisingly, I actually thought that was gonna be the first one to go. And the most important one of all, don't BS yourself, remember? And if you ask me, I actually think you're doing a really good job with that one. I mean, you didn't lie to yourself when you failed, you accepted it. And now you can learn from your failures and improve. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You're right. It doesn't matter if you fail your resolutions as long as you don't BS yourself. Actually, I don't even need to say BS anymore. I'm just gonna say it. Huh? Don't bullshit yourself. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, I think you're kind of missing the point of what I was it trying to- It doesn't matter that I fail all my resolutions. In fact, I should fail them so that I can improve. No, you shouldn't try to fail them. I think- you Nope. You know what? You're right. I need to stop bullshit myself and just be me. Someone that makes bad puns and fart jokes and, and, and kills grandmothers and throws their ashes on the ground. Well- uh, because being honest with yourself and acknowledging your flaws and your fails are really the only way anyone can actually improve. Well, I guess that last part was kinda accurate. Either that, or you could also improve yourself with a nice, cold, refreshing, sugar-free Red Bull energy drink! Now that is some good bull!